uh, Muslim students have been looking for something like this, and I think they're very appreciative of the fact that a pastor uh, gave us his church to use for worshiping God. This Friday, we're having our first ever public Juma which is our Friday prayer on College Ave. The Friday prayer is a, is a big event. It's like a, um, in Christianity, a mass or in Judaism, uh, the Sabbath. So it's a time to get together with the community. And more than just prayer, it's a space for people to come together, to create a sense of community, to voice their concerns, and to really bring together people so they can mobilize for the most pressing issues of that community. On campus, people just pray outside of classrooms. People pray inside, uh, you know, empty classrooms, in hallways. This would be, I think, rather horrifying to think that in a campus as large as Rutgers with as many different religious groups, there's no place for Muslim students to worship. Even though there's uh, 3,000 or 5,000 Muslims on campus, so it's a, definitely a big stride uh, and it's, it's a start. And I think this means a lot. The form of coexistence is very beautiful and shows that that we can, like, despite our differences, we can come together, we can work together, we can be at peace. I would like for members of our congregation and some of our people who work here to be able to interact, to meet Muslim students one-on-one, -on -one, to make friends with Muslim students, and have Muslim students make friends with us, because there's probably some fear and suspicion on both sides. Well, when you actually see the leader of the church reaching out to the Muslim community to use the church, uh, for their uh, worship, that's an actual action which is very different from words. This is real interfaith. Interfaith isn't just dialogue, it's not just coming together to sit around round tables and talk about similarity between religion. It's about taking a group of people that has been ostracized from a larger community and giving them a space to unite and come together and that's real interfaith.